Hey guys, Wonklo here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really great day. In today's video, I want to show you how easy it is to onboard a Penta X2 onto the FIX network. So let's get started. As you can see, we are currently logged in via shell to my Penta X2 and on the left hand side, I opened one of my GitHub repositories. In here, we will find the Penta scripts and in there, if we take a look into things IX, we can see that there is a setup sh file. This one is the file that will guide you through the whole installation of everything. And this is the only file that we need to use to change our Penta X2 to be onboarded onto the Things IX network. Therefore, I just copy this command, I paste it in here, and be aware, you need to be in root or into a sudo, in, into a sudo account, but if you don't do this and you try to execute this script, the script will tell you that you do not have enough permissions to do so. So we execute this command, and here we see the toolbox that I created for you guys. We only need to press the number one the first time. And now it guides us through a couple of steps. It first asks us in which kind of region we want to deploy the network uh, or the gateway. Currently just European frequencies are enabled on the network. So therefore we need to be in Europe, otherwise it won't work as far as I understand and I'm recording this on the 20th of June in 2023. The next thing we need to do is we need to accept because it asks us would you like to proceed and change the global conf. The global configuration uh, file needs to, be, needs to be changed due to the fact that we want to install something that is playing around with a couple of ports. So we say, yes, we want to accept this. Now we need to start the Docker container for the things IX max. Are you ready? And uh, the things IX max is basically just a multiplier. It takes all the LoRa and LoRaWAN signals and multiplies them to different destinations. So we accept this. Uh, now it's telling us you're almost done. Now we need to start the actual forward uh, Docker container. Are you ready? I press on yes. And the first step of the script is done. It tells us you're done with the first step. Rerun the same command again. Before we do this, I want to take a look into my uh, global configuration file. Because in the end, as you can see in here, it changed actually the ports to 1688. Those are the ports that I specified it to use. Um, you could change them, but there's no need because the script that I created is for the Penta X2 and therefore you can use it with your Penta X2. Now we need to run the script from my GitHub repository again. We press it again. And now we need to choose the option number two. And now we will onboard this onto the things IX network. Okay, now it's telling us something interesting. We need to go into the web UI of your Pentaminer and disable the forwarder. After that, enable the forwarder again. Have you done so? If you don't have done so and you press no, it will abort. So what we need to do is we need to go over uh, into our actual minor dashboard. And in here, as you can see, the packet forward is currently disabled. Uh, I will quickly enable it. This just takes a couple of seconds and I can reload the page and I tell it, yes, I have done so. And now I need to enter my Polygon wallet address. Therefore, I just open my Polygon account, paste it in here and press enter. And as you can see, I got a signature. If I now go over to app.thingsix.com and I connect my MetaMask wallet to it and I take a look into my account and I tell them, hey, I want to add a gateway. Oh, check this out. The gateway is there and I can onboard it. It's super simple. It's super easy to use. It's nothing you can do wrong. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on further updates. See you in the next one.